seize the moment of excited curiosity on any subject to solve your doubts. For if you let it pass, the desire may never return, and you may remain in ignorance. This was an important quote in my early adulthood, something that stuck with me, obviously, to this day. I wanted to open this video with a reference to it in the hopes that it might mean something to you and also as a point that I'll be returning to later. Allow me to briefly explain the goal of this video. I'm hoping to create something that's useful, inspirational, in some way beneficial for content creators, for students, for any professionals giving a presentation, demos, etc. Ultimately, what I want to do is get you to think a little bit differently about the process, how to develop your own workflow and how to develop the experience to know exactly when you should be ignoring it all and trying something new. Join me on my little journey through the process of creating a Veritas video essay. Hope you enjoy. It all begins with an idea. Sometimes I decide that I want to do a video on a specific topic for one reason or another, and I start building from the top down. And other times I end up accidentally stumbling upon some sort of totally separate meta idea while working on something else that I'm inspired to dig more into, elaborate on, etc. In this case, I tend to use more of a bottom-up approach. Nevertheless, I'm always starting with some idea, some theme or lesson that I want to communicate to the audience. Now at this point, I'm already likely overflowing with ideas about things I want to touch on, anecdotes or stories from my life that seem relevant, maybe jokes I want to make, other content I want to reference, people I might want to shout out. My biggest fear at this point is that something's going to enter my brain, be a great idea, and I'm going to forget it. It'll drift away, never to be used until it's way too late. At which point I'll inevitably realize that the idea that I had forgotten was the key to making my point clear all along. The first thing I do at this point is find somewhere that I want to track all of these ideas. I'm going to need to find a wall that I can throw all the spaghetti against to see how it sticks. Now the goal of this is to create a list of high level concepts and ideas that can serve almost like chapters in a book. This is effectively the first sub-layer in the process of creating an outline. Now I've used all sorts of different methods and tools for this part of the process. When I still worked full time, I used to carry around a little notebook in my pocket where I'd be able to handwrite any spur of the moment ideas or inspirations that came to me, whether or not it was at my desk, in a meeting, out to lunch, wherever. The biggest issue I ran into with this method was that it was slow and it didn't lend itself to being very flexible, dynamic, or fluid which is pretty much the way that my brain works through this creative process. As you can see in the accompanying footage, this part of the process is rather chaotic. My brain is pretty much all over the place. I constantly get random unrelated ideas popping into my head mid-thought, or perhaps I realize two completely separate ideas are in fact related in some unique way, whether directly or thematically, and should be moved closer to each other in the outline. Now, Over time, I've come to put down my ideas in one of two places, depending on where I am. Now, it's most convenient to use the Notes app on my iPhone if I'm outside of the house. It's an easy and flexible way for me to jot down quick ideas, bullet points, doodles, pictures, etc. And then when I'm in front of my computer, I can easily transfer what I typed out here into a Google Doc, where pretty much everything lives. I find that Google Docs tend to be the easiest and most straightforward place to work on my video essay outlines simply because of the seamless access between all of my devices that are always logged into my main Veritas Gmail account. Whether it's my phone, my stream PC, my development or music production laptop, my gaming PC, these documents are pretty much a click away. Now, during this step in the process, anything that comes to mind, I write down. The good, the bad, the partial ideas, sarcastic dad jokes, pop culture references, everything. I really try not to worry or think too hard about anything specifically here. I'm going to be filtering all this later, so this first pass is basically all about quantity over quality. I try to be careful to add the basic amount of information or context for each of these bullet points so that future Veritas knows what the hell I'm talking about when I come back to it days or even weeks later, although sometimes I just can't recall what something meant or what it was referring to and the idea is lost forever. Practically speaking, you want to basically put the minimum amount possible so that you can build on it later. You don't want to get distracted at this point diving too deep down any of these branches. Now if you do happen to forget something, don't dwell on it for too long. Don't be afraid to just move on and let it go at 
may very well come back to you at some point, but for now, it's probably not worth getting stalled on this one specific idea that may or may not have been all that interesting in the first place. So, here I am. I've collected a big list of topics and ideas, listed in no particular order, that at second glance I may or may not want to dig into further. Now I can begin the next part of the process, which is ordering and filtering these ideas. Because what I have at this point is a bullet point list of ideas in a Google Doc, it's pretty trivial to move stuff around, copy paste here or there, basically make everything fit in some sort of logical order that will serve to support and or move along the narrative. I try to imagine how I can weave connected lines of thought from topic to topic, discussing related topics or ideas around the same time, maybe making some callbacks to something relevant that I mentioned earlier, all of these things are going to help make the entire message more cohesive. Once I've got a logically ordered high-level outline, the next step in the process is to build out each of them in more detail, expanding on each and weaving them all together. Now this process consists mainly of researching, brainstorming, you know, typical creative writing stuff that I can't give much specific advice on, although there are a few things that I find helpful to be mindful of that makes this process much better overall. One thing I've struggled with before is being conscious of the voice I use throughout the video. Am I telling people this from my perspective? Is this something that I do, or is it something that people in general do, or is it something I think you should do? Usually as I write different parts at different times, I tend to mix this voice, which can be kind of confusing for people that are paying attention. I always want to go through at the end and update anything that I've already written up until this point so that everything's at least consistent. Right. Before I forget, consistently throughout this whole process, whether I'm editing or script writing, my ADHD kicks in and a new idea hits me that I want to make sure it gets reincorporated back into the whole outline. I try not to get too distracted from what I'm doing at the moment, but I also don't want to let the idea slip, so I try to find somewhere to jot down a brief note about the idea that will hopefully make sense to me later when I return to it, and then I try to get back to whatever I was working on, um, you know, without losing too much focus. Now, if I do happen to get distracted, either get lost in a thought or get pulled into a phone call or get some sort of Discord notification or otherwise forget what I was working on at the time, it can be super helpful to... Early in 1925, headlines across the United States briefly focused on an intensely local and specific story. A man in central Kentucky was stuck in a cave.